Hello everybody, this is the Training Gamer back to conclude round four for the group stage with Group H. Ooh, now we're getting into it now. This will finish off round four and then it's on to the final round. And before I continue, I should mention that this will be the last tournament video I post this week because I'm going to do all of round five matches in one week. So they'll be next week and I'm going to do Group A and B in one day, Group C, D and then E and F and then G and H. And then after that, I will do the I will do the draw for the last 32, where I'll put all of you lovely people together. Right, without further ado, let's get on with these matches. And at first, we will see Danex Tactile taking on Random Guy 86, Jonas Chu against Arctic Warriors, and Dendro taking on the Poke. Alrighty then, in this matchup, we see Danex Tactile taking on Random Guy. And at first, for Danex Tactile, we have a Gigant Spinosaurus. Oh, we're going to have more sound lag, I think. <laughs> okay, as for Danek Tactile in the blue corner, we have an Augustinia. A beast not to be trifled with, with all the rush moves there. And see what they can do. A win for Danek Tactile will pretty much guarantee their place in the last 32. A win for Random Guy 86 will enable them to pull away from the bottom two. Oh, that's a tie. That will suit Augustinia more, by the looks of it. Uh, yes, it will, because Augustinia is a blunder type, so it can nullify the Gigant Spinosaurus' moves. Well, after several ties, the Augustinia gets off the first hit. And here come the troops to add extra damage to the Gigant Spinosaurus. He kickies! Good start from Random Guy 86 there. Oof, the sound lag is really bad. <laughs> Another tie, there's the Blunder type there, nullifying that sand trap. And here comes a killer blow from Augustinia, and Random Guy 86 has an early lead. All right, as for Danek's tactile second dino, we have a Majungasaurus. Get my wits about me because this beast uses air raid storm. Rexer. Can Danex Tactile pull this back? Can they keep their unbeaten run so far in this tournament? Well, the way this is going, I'm going to say no. Wow, look at that blunder type getting rid of both scissors and paper. Well, Danex Tactile finally getting a hit. And I think it's not a killer hit. Ooh, how costly could that hit be, though? Not enough to kill Augustinia, as Augustinia strikes back with a... Dromeo Rush. Okay, yep, Augustinia finally biting the dust. Danex Tactile pulling it back, but Random Guy 86 still has a slight lead. Okay, as for Random Guy's second dino, we have a Yang Chuangosaurus. And this one has all the dive moves. And we've definitely seen them all in action and seen what they can do. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, the Yang Chuangosaurus, though, finishing off Majungasaurus. Oh, it's got all three of them in the action. Well, it, all three of them are in on the act, but I don't think they're going to be needed. Yep, one is enough to finish off Majungasaurus. And give Random Guy 86 a 2-1 lead. But don't count Danex Tactile out yet, because their third dino is Super Eocarcaria. And we haven't seen too much of this guy, to be honest. 
But when we do see it in action, expect it to do well. Okay, awaken mode on four. Ooh, the Eokarkiria wasting no time there, getting off the first hit. Well, Eokarkiria making quick work of Yang Chuangasaurus so far. Oh, here comes a tie, and here comes Heat Eruption. A Heat Eruption which will surely finish off the Yang Chuangasaurus and bring it back to 2 2 for Danix Tactile. Curtains for Yang Chuangasaurus. Danex Tactile pulling it back. Okay, as for Random Guy 86's third di dino, we have a Super Chomp. A Super Duper Chomp. This beast is not to be trifled with. Can definitely pack a punch. But the Eokarkaria looking pretty strong so far. Okay, that was twice, I think. Yeah, it's twice. Because he got one hit off, and then he got another hit off. And then he got Heat Eruption, so yeah. Two more, and then it's Awakening time for the Eokarkaria. Ooh, Chomp getting off for the first hit there. Random Guy 86 still has the slight lead. Okay, that's three times, and that's once. So next time, it'll be Awakening time for Eokarkaria. And then another four times for Chomp. Oh, big hit from Chomp. Lots of damage done. Okay, it's Awakening time. But it's Awakening time for Eokarkaria. Oh, I think that's curtains for Chomp. Yeah, the Flare Sword to make sure of it. And Danex Tactile. Snatches the match away from Random Guy 86. Okay, now that was definitely a smash and grab. The Awaken mode there, helping the Eokarkaria get the win. And that should be Danix Tactile safely through to the last 32. But it's not doom and gloom for Random Guy because Eokarkaria's HP was below half. They will get a losing bonus point, which could be key. Right, we'll update the table and we'll move on to our next match. Alright then, in this matchup we see Jonas Chu taking on Arctic Warriors. At first for Jonas Chu we have a Baryonyx. One of many, many Baryonyxes in this tournament and quite a popular choice by a lot of people. After an impressive performance in the first matchup, Jonas Chu has kind of struggled a bit. But can they pull it back against Arctic Warriors? It's going to be tough though, because in the blue corner for Arctic Warriors, we have the Mega Raptor. An all powerful Mega Raptor here. Gone for all attacking moves and is not to be messed with. A win here for Arctic Warriors will guarantee this and Danex Tactile's places in the last 32. Oh, that's a good start from Arctic Warriors there. A biting wind off the bat. There's the Mayfly being triggered, and the Mayfly be activating, and just like that, Arctic Warriors is 1-0 up, and Jonas is in a heap of trouble. But a saving grace for Jonas is this top. This Tarbosaurus, which it, which will have the type advantage over that Mega Raptor, Super Tarbosaurus, I should say. The Awaken Mode could be key here for Jonas to pull this back. Of course, you only you only get the type advantage really if you get hits off. It doesn't really work for you if you get hit, but you do take less damage, so you can afford to get hit a bit more time. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> oh, that's, that's not good, is it? Will Jonas get a hit this match? Okay, okay, there's a hit. 
Not too much damage dealt, though. Two. Oh, here comes the Hurricane Beat. But next round, it'll be awakening time for Tor Tor Tarbosaurus. But let's be honest, I think we all know who's going to win this match. Oh, oh, never mind, I killed it. Well, that sucked. Okay, as for Jonas's third and final dino, we have an Allosaurus. Um, well, I don't see it pulling it back for Jonas, to be honest. Because he's literally got one hit in this whole match. Okay. Okay, let's see how quickly Mega Raptor can kill this thing. Okay, the Allosaurus gets off a hit. Right, now you should give Jonas like 13 hits in a row. Just to be fair. <laughs> okay, here comes a bite in wind. And another tie. And another tie. Well, the Mega Raptor's slowly getting taken out. And the Mega Raptor finally biting the dust. Can Jonas Chu make an unthinkable comeback? The answer to that, probably no. Okay, as for Arctic Warrior's second dino, we have an Alpha Sukaminus. The beast that will probably win it for Arctic Warriors and assure their place in the last 32. <laughs> oh, hang on, RNG's being a jerk. Okay, there we go. A big critical hurricane beat coming from the Allosaurus. Ding, ding, ding. Brrr. Big damage coming Sukumimus' way. Boosh. Well, never mind. Aqua Whip coming in, securing the bonus point win for Arctic Warriors. And let's be honest, there was never going to be any other result, was there? As soon as the Tarbosaurus died. Okay. That's a bonus point win for Arctic Warriors. And as a safe passage into the last 32 for themselves and for Danek Sector. Right, time to update the table and we'll move on to our final match of this video and the final match for round four. Alrighty then, in this matchup we see Dendro taking on Lepoke. Could be a bit, this is a big match this. If Dendro wins here, they will also book their place in the last 32. But if Lepoke falls here, it will be a group stage elimination. Okay, as for Lepoke in the blue corner, we have an Albertosaurus. I th I'm very surprised that Lepoke is struggling in this tournament, given that I picked all the moves for him. But, you know, it's probably because I'm not using the dinosaurs. If I was using the dinosaurs, I'd be top of group H, but nope. Never mind. But what I will say here is that Lepoke will be at a type advantage over this Ceratosaurus, so it's a definitely a good chance for them here. Oh, there's a tie attack. Ties definitely suit Albertosaurus more. Ooh, but the Ceratosaurus gets off the first hit, and it's a critical one, and wow, lots of damage dealt. Underestimate Ceratosaurus there. Ooh, another tie though. And that's another tie. 
Ceratosaurus being worn out by ties. Oh, and here comes the burning dash from the Albertosaurus that will finish off Ceratosaurus and give Lapoke a 1-0 lead. Just the start they would have wanted. But it is only a slender one. Alright, as for Dendro's second dino, we have a Sukamimus. It will be a type advantage against our Albertosaurus, so there's not that... So there's not as big as a chance for Lapoke to open up a lead as they normally would be. Of course, the tie attack could definitely help from Lapoke. And there have been some a few ties so far in this match. Ooh, a crit will definitely help. And since it's not burning dash, it won't be affected by the type of disadvantage. And a flare sword as well. The poke extending their lead. Oh. Well, we've seen it before. You don't finish off the first die, no? This happens to you. And all of a sudden, you can find yourself 2-0 down. And that is what, well, that is what's basically happened to Dendro. And as you can see there, the Sukumimus would have died in a tie, but the game programs it so it survives, so... I will give Lapoke a free hit, just to kill the Sukumimus. Anyway, the third dino, second dino Lapoke, sorry, is an Alberta Ceratops. A lightning beast here, it would have been at a type advantage against that Suko. But the Albertosaurus did all of the work. Okay, so yeah, I'll just give it a rock. So Lapoke still has a decent lead. As Dendro's third dino, the Carifosaurus, comes in. Watch out for that super impact. Could definitely pack a punch. Her <laughs> 990 technique. Almost a thousand, but not a thousand. But that's pretty good for a Carifosaurus. Okay, that's a five. Ooh, crit from the Carifosaurus there. Lots of damage done. Dendro fighting back. Ooh, another hit. Not as much damage dealt, though. Oh, here comes the Thunder Driver. Here comes a big hit from Alberta Ceratops. Wow, almost all, half of the health has been gone. But that super impact has been triggered. Oh, here comes another hit from Carifosaurus. A decent amount of damage dealt there. Oh, but the Alberta Ceratops striking back and also guaranteeing Lepoke points should they lose this match. Unless Emerald Garden activates and takes Carifosaurus' health past half. Oh, it's a tie, but that will do it for Carifosaurus. Takes out the Alberta Ceratops and reduces Lapoke to their last dino. That dino being the Euoplocephalus, which will be at a tight disadvantage against the Carifosaurus. But with Carifosaurus' HP so low, I don't think it matters. Uh, no, I don't think it'll matter. Nope. Well, that's a big, big win for Lapoke, and it keeps them in the tournament. And it's good that everyone, ev that they got a win. You know, even if that's the only win. But it is a big win for Lapoke, that, and it keeps them alive. Right, we'll update the table, and we'll end the session. Alright, not much, to, not much change here. We have Arctic but we do have a change at the top with Arctic Warriors on 12 points after our bonus point win. And we have Danex Tactile in second with 11 points. Dendro in third still on 7 points. Random Guy 86 stuck on 6. Actually moving on up to 6 points I should say. 
and then Jonas Chu on four points, and then Lapoke with a big win on three points. Oh, uh, wow, Group H definitely looks interesting. I mean, these two are through. So they, it doesn't matter what happens to them two in the last round. Who plays next? So four versus three. That's random guy against Jonas. Wow. Massive game this. Massive game. Like this pretty much this will pretty much be a knockout game. Because whoever wins will go through and whoever loses will be knocked out. Pretty much. That's a knockout game there. And then we have Danex Tactile against Dendro. Uh interesting game. And then we have Arctic Warriors against Lapoke. But yep, yeah, that's round four concluded. So stay tuned for round five. Where we will kick to Group A and finish it off. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.